Gun Geeks, it's Destiny from Fate of Destiny. This is my friend Nate from the YouTube channel NSE85, so some of you may know him. Hello. But Nate doesn't get to shoot a whole ton of 1911s, and you guys probably know I'm quite fond of 1911s. So of course, we had to have a battle of 1911s here. Uh, we picked today the Springfield Range Officer 1911, and we're going to compare it on three points to the Kibersys Pro 1911, just focusing on like perceived recoil, accuracy, um, and the trigger. Yep. All right. Time to shoot. To start off this little quick uh, 1911 comparison, I'm going to shoot the Springfield Range Officer. from a 1911 the travel of the trigger is short and the pull is crisp so it breaks cleanly solid just what i'd be hoping for but we don't want to just take my word for it i have nate over here why don't you give it give it a shot put a few rounds through it i have a mag all loaded up for it well thank you very much my pleasure i'll get out of your way now i am new to 1911 so i don't know if i'll be able to do as well as destiny but we'll give it a try I really like the trigger. The trigger is actually nicer on this one than other ones that I've shot. I'm still shooting the range officer, but this time I'm gonna focus on the accuracy and how well it works for me. One of the reasons that I'm fairly fond of the range officer is that it has the capacity to be, the capacity to be a very accurate 1911, especially for the money. It does take me a little bit of time getting used to the sights, but once I have that dialed in from the range that I'm shooting at right now, 16 feet, I generally keep them in about a quarter or so, half dollar or so size hole. Let's see how Nate does. All right, so the Springfield range officer, overall accuracy. Good to me. It's as good as the shooter, so I think I did all right. I'm about to put five more rounds through the range officer, but this time I'm going to be paying more attention to the perceived recoil. I shot through that bag a little bit faster just because I want to see how much rapid fire or uh, rather quicker fire affects that muzzle flip and the recoil that I'm perceiving overall. And it's a full size steel firearm, so I don't notice a recoil too bad. It is a 45, so it's got a little bit of punch to it, but it seems to push a little bit more back rather than uh, flipping up. So I am able to keep rounds on target more or less, even so. I'm gonna have to say it's the same thing. It's very much, uh, there isn't much muzzle rise at all. It's very much to the back. And I prefer it, to be honest. I like it a lot. We just finished shooting the Springfield Range Officer, and now we're going to shoot a four inch barrel 1911. This is the Kimber Sys Pro. We're just gonna compare the same three points. Casings ejecting straight up, which means I may need to have that extractor tuned a little bit. But regardless, uh, the trigger pull, just as what I'd expect from a standard 1911, crisp, short, 
works for me. All right, Nate. As far as the trigger goes on this one, I actually prefer the trigger on the previous one. But again, it was it was the same. It was very short and it was crisp and uh, didn't hinder my ability to shoot faster at all. So. Still shooting the Kimber Sys Pro. This time I'm going to focus on accuracy. One of the reasons why I'm confident in carrying the Kimber is because I have an ability to be fairly accurate with it. it. Especially if I feed it factory ammo, it seems to put rounds on about the same range that I get, or about the same groupings that I get with the range officer, despite the fact that the Kimber has an inch shorter barrel. One that didn't go off looks like a very light primer strike. Um, as far as accuracy goes, I tried to take out the eight and I didn't do so good. So there's definitely a difference between the five inch and the four inch barrel, which obviously I'm not used to this, so that's probably the variation, there. but still very accurate. Shooting the Kibbersys Pro, I'm going to be focusing on the perceived recoil. One of the biggest differences I notice right off the bat between the Kimbersys Pro and that Springfield Range Officer is the perceived recoil. That shorter barrel, the four inch barrel on the Kimber, makes the gun feel snappier and I do notice some more muzzle flip and I get used to it, but if you're not used to it, it's a bigger factor as far as your accuracy goes. Right off the bat, definitely there's a difference between the 5 inch and the 4 inch. And especially for someone like me who's not used to 1911s, it's a noticeable difference. Not tremendously to me, um, but it is a difference. I could definitely see how it would affect accuracy for me overall with the 4 inch versus the 5 inch. Okay, so seeing as how you don't get to shoot 1911s all the time, I am really interested in your feedback on the two, the range officer versus the Kimber Sys. So what do you think? Would you like, dislike? Just on the three points that we talked about okay. mostly. Uh, as far as the trigger, I like the trigger on the range officer better. Um, it was a little crisper? Yeah, it was a little bit crisper. And then... Match gun. <laughs> yeah. Uh, as far as uh, accuracy goes, I can see how both are very accurate for what they do. I mean, obviously being a carry gun, you want it lighter, so it's a little bit shorter, but it does affect the accuracy, or at least it did for me. Uh, the Top sights, smart. the sights I preferred on your carry piece, the Kimber Sys versus the... Yeah, those the, nice three dots. Yeah, the GI style, it's black, it was hard to the see against the black. The target sights are difficult to get used to, definitely. Yeah. So, and then as far as proceed recoil, the four inch did have more recoil. Yeah, obviously, it's not shorter. surprising. Yeah, but I mean, that's, that's pretty much all you could say, is that it was a little bit snappier, but... So overall, which which 1911 did you prefer? Uh, honestly, I'd have to say the range officer. I definitely liked. It. I, I enjoy it. I mean, for target shooting, it's pretty hard to beat yeah. for the price range. Well, thank you for shooting with me. Thanks I had a having blast. Me. If you guys haven't seen Nate's videos, check out his YouTube channel, youtube.com slash NSE85. And if you don't know, I man, I'm managing editor for thearmsguy.com. Nate's one of the contributors, so check out his writing Definitely too. check it out. I'm really happy to have him on board. <laughs> Brass! <laughs> Bye, guys.